whispers in the void. In the sprawling metropolis of Greyhaven, under a sky forever twilight, there was an alley that didn't exist yesterday. If you were to find it, tucked away behind the hum of the city, you would see a mural splashed across the brick, a cacophony of color, with the words, Hey you, are you listening? scrawled urgently over the top. Sarah, a local musician, was drawn to it one evening. Her guitar hung heavy on her back, a reminder of the dreams that the city had swallowed whole. The words seemed to thrum with a life of their own, pulsating to the beat of her troubled heart. She closed her eyes, and there it was. A melody, soft and haunting. A song that seemed to fill the gaps of silence left by a world too loud to listen. The tune followed her. It slithered into her music, transforming her songs into dirges that spoke of hidden truths and silent screams. Her friends noticed the change, the fire in her eyes, the lyrics that seemed almost prophetic, the way she would stop mid-conversation, head cocked, as if straining to hear a sound only she could sense. As days bled into nights, the melody grew insistent, whispers in her ear, not quite her own thoughts, urged her to share the message. The performances became sermons, her guitar weeping chords that made her audience feel a longing they couldn't name. But there was a discordance in her mind, growing louder with each passing day. The whispers became a cacophony, driving her to the brink. She saw the city differently. The gray buildings were now tombstones for the ideas and dreams of its inhabitants. She felt an unending sorrow, a pressure to erupt in and break the dam of silence. Her reality started to warp. The faces in the crowd became blurred. The buildings around her twisted and shifted in ways that defied physics. Time lost its rhythm and the night seemed to stretch into infinity. She wandered the city, a ghost among shadows, her only companion, the ever-present song that only she seemed to hear. Sarah's search for solace brought her to other musicians, artists who had once heard a whisper of the same tune. They were shadows of themselves now, their eyes hollow, their voices mere echoes. They spoke of the mural, of the alley, of the song that had promised so much and taken everything. In hushed tones, they warned her of its true nature, a siren's call that led only to ruin. Yet, the song's seductive pull was unrelenting. She found herself in places forgotten by the city, each site revealing a new verse, a new sorrow. There were stories etched in the walls, lifetimes of dreams unfulfilled, voices stifled by the weight of the city's indifference. Haunted by the song, Sarah returned to the alley. She placed her palms against the cool mural, begging for silence. Sir, the city held its breath, and in that stillness, she understood. The song wasn't a gift, but a burden, one that had driven countless others to madness, each becoming a note in an eternal symphony of despair. The whispers spoke of the artist who had created the mural, a visionary whose music had been too raw, too real for the world. They silenced him, but his spirit refused to be quelled. In his final moments, he poured his essence into the mural, into the song, ensuring his voice would resonate forever through the alleys of Greyhaven. In the end, Sarah did what the song demanded, she played one final show, pouring every ounce of her pain and revelation into the chords. The crowd wept, overcome by an understanding too profound for words. And when the last note quivered into silence, Sarah vanished, leaving behind her guitar and a warning etched into the wood. Hey you, are you listening? The alley is gone now, but the whispers remain, carried on the wind. 
they find their way to those with dreams too big for the small world they inhabit. And so, the symphony grows, each artist adding their voice to the chorus, each listener becoming part of the legacy. Rumors spread of a ghostly figure, a woman with a guitar, who appears in the places of forgotten dreams. They say she plays a song of haunting beauty, a prelude to a choice. Surrender to the silence or become part of the eternal echo. The tale ends as a question, one that echoes in the minds of all who remember Sarah and her final performance. When the world is too loud to hear your song, will you listen to the whispers in the void? Will you heed the call that resonates in the silent spaces, the call that demands to be heard? And to you, dear reader, who has stumbled upon this tale, consider it a crossroads of sorts. For in the act of reading, you have heard the whisper too. The question lingers. An invitation or a warning. Hey you, are you listening? <laughs>